Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you how to get this lovely blown out rod set. Keep watching. So I'm going to show you how I do everything from the beginning to the end. This is a full tutorial. I've already went ahead, did my undercut, so I am ready to touch up these grays. <laughs> As you know, if you don't know, I love my hair jet black. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually coloring my hair jet black black um you may not see my grays here but i tend to get grays in the middle so if i was to do a middle part you would see all of my grays and we can't have that so what's best to do when you just have a little bit of grays just cover it all up so i'm doing a full color on my hair jet black i am using the black onyx it is jet jet black it's a blacker than jet black <laughs> so i already sectioned my hair into two front and back it's easier when i'm doing my own color to just have it sectioned in two sections because i just do the front which i call the money shot that's what you're going to see so i want to make sure all of my grays are covered in the front and then while the front is processing that's when i'll start working on the back of my hair So when coloring my hair, I am using one tube of L'Oreal Black Onyx color with 20 developer. I go all throughout my hair, section by section. Once I have it applied, I'll go back through it and smooth it to uh, the mid shaft. And then towards the end, which I let it sit for 35 minutes, I'll run it through the ends of my hair right before going to the sink or the shampoo. This way I make sure that the color is fully distributed throughout my hair and you don't see any like brown tones because my hair is a natural um, brown. So I want to make sure it is completely black and doing it with my hands makes it a whole lot easier. And now I can let it sit for 35 minutes. Okay guys, so I just finished blowing out my hair. As you can see, it's ready for me to do my perm rod set. Um, before I did anything to my hair, I did touch up my undercut in the back. As you can see here. And if you're interested in seeing how I touch up my undercut at home, 
just uh, comment undercut below and I'll go ahead and make a video on how I touch up my undercut at home. Um, quick disclaimer, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I do cut hair. I know how to use the clippers. And if you don't, it's okay. Ask someone to help you or please go to a barbershop. Go to a barbershop or go to a hair stylist that actually works with clippers and is familiar with cutting hair. She will jack your hair up and we don't want that. Okay. No. <laughs> um, after I did my undercut, I went ahead, I sectioned my hair into two, front and the back, and I colored my hair jet black it's actually called the black onyx as you 20 um developer um i started out with the clearall because i thought i didn't have the l'oreal developer but then noticed that i did have my l'oreal developer and i went ahead and i added that with my l'oreal developer um and i just took my time and did my color now i didn't have to do a full color on my hair because i did color my hair back in December, but I did need to uh, touch up my grays. So I did go ahead and yes, I have gray hair. And I usually get it in the front. So not directly on my hairline, as you can see, I have a little speak. I did see like a few little strands of gray in the front, but I did go ahead and touch it up because I usually get it like directly in the middle. I, I usually wear a middle part when I do my wigs. And um, more, uh, recently, I had my natural hair pressed, so I had a silk press, and I had it part kind of like this, let's see, and all of this was gray, all in there was gray, and that's no longer gray. So I love jet black, I love it, I love it, I love the color. So um, the, the black onyx, it gives you that like black black, right? So um, I went ahead, colored my hair. After I colored my hair, washed it out, deep conditioned it. Also put in like a little, little bit of leave-in conditioner and a treatment oil and I blow dried my hair out. Also, if you're interested in how I blow dry my hair and it has so much body, um, I will, make a video but I'm pretty sure I've done a video before showing you I think in my silk press video um, of how I blow dry my hair so if I find clips from that I'll just link it here so you can see me blow drying my hair and the blow dryer I use I'll also link below so now I'm going to uh, use perm rods in my hair um, I was gonna do the whole thing on camera, but it's gonna take forever for me to stand here and rock my hair. So what I will do, I will do the back first, and then when I get to the front section, I'll come back and I'll film the front section, show you guys the back, show you exactly what I'm doing, show you what products I'm using, to uh, ride my hair on blown out hair and yeah so i'll be back okay so i'm back it is the next day um it was late i did the back of my hair and got really tired so i took a silk scarf and tied it around the back as you can see and I am back to finish the front. Um, it's the middle section here and the front. The back is dry. The back and sides are dry, but um, I do have somewhere to go later today. So I will be sitting under the dryer so that the way the front of my hair, the front and the top of my hair, all dries um as you can see i'm not in my bathroom um i am sitting on my sofa i'm watching tv i'm comfortable so i am going to sit here and film me doing my perm rods in the top portion and in the front of my head 
um, I'm going to slow down a few sections when I get towards the front, but I'm going to start here because you guys can't really see here. But once I get to this front section, which I think I may go ahead and split because I don't want that defined part in the middle. Um, I'll come back, I'll slow it down and show you step by step on how I use the perm rods to get the curl that I am looking for. And uh, by the way, I am using the orange sized perm rods. Um, they're not too small, they're not too big. And at first I get this nice tight curl but uh, the longer I wear the style, um, the looser the curl will get. The curl will eventually drop and it will give me this big hair look. Um, I am using one product while adding the perm rods to my blowout. And it's um, Millie Organics uh, Curl Mousse. Um, this stuff is really, really good. I also use the shampoo and the conditioner, which I will link below when I washed out my color and I did my deep condition. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start sectioning and I'm actually sectioning with my fingers because I'm not too worried about the parts being straight. Um, I'm gonna take my finger here. the top portion if it's straight it's straight if it's not it's no big deal because I'm gonna fluff the roots a little bit so you don't see the parts and section this portion away section with my fingers, take my denim brush, brush it out, do one and a half pumps of mousse, I'm not going to put it all the way at the roots because I don't want the roots to get curly, I want the roots to stay straight, to have that stretched out look, and I'm going to do it from here all the way down to the ends. So I'm going to do the rest and then I'll come back and slow down the front so you guys can get a better sight of what I'm doing.
Okay, so I am down to this portion of my car and I only have about four orange crew mods left and I've got one pink one and well not pink one, this is like a peach cream color, whatever. But this is the one that's closest to the orange side. No, it's a little smaller. Well, it's smaller. But this is the only size I have close to the orange size. And I don't want to put the pink ones that I have. Let me show you. Too small. And this one is way too small. Well, those are way too small, but this one is too small. It's just completely off, you see? And this would be in the middle. But I don't have a lot of these. I can't even find them. So I have one of these. So, I was just grabbing pieces, but I'm thinking, let's see, if I gotta do what I gotta do, I gotta do what I gotta do. snorting. My dog is snorting. He's right here.
What is happening? Okay. And you want to take your denim brush and comb it through to make sure it's nice and smooth. Do not go to the root. This is like the closest I get, like right in here. smoothing it out. Roll it. Smooth it out. Roll it. Roll it in under. Roll it. Make sure that it's nice and tight. Because if not, you have to do it over. So you always want to do it over if it's not nice and tight. Brush it through. And it's okay if you have to do it a couple of times. Heck, <laughs> I do this all the time. And sometimes if I don't feel like it's tight enough, I'll have to be safe and sorry. And I'm like, why should you be lazy? Laying on the couch. I'm dead. Okay? I'm dead. <laughs> so. Take 
go in here, we lock it. And now it ain't moving. And it's nice and firm. So that's what you do. You see that? Nice and firm. So I got two orange ones and a cream one left. Or I actually like to split it. But I don't want it to be a defined. Yeah, like this. So then I have to do two here and two here. Yeah, that feels more even. Yeah, I like how that feels. So I'm gonna put this to this side. Like that. I'm gonna put two here. And like that. Hmm. Putting a pink one here would be smart. Since that seems like that's not short, <laughs> clearly not short, but it is the smallest, the smallest portion of hair. 
these two here. I have one orange and the peach colored one. It's peach off camera. I know y'all like, look at that. That is not peach. That is like yellow. No, it's peach. It just looks that way on camera. But this one's good here. Um, It'll be fine. Okay. I'm gonna put this one here. No, I don't sit on my sofa and do my hair, but I was up late. Um, me and my boyfriend was watching The Perfect Match last night. And I started rolling the back while I was watching a perfect match. I've done this so many times, I don't even need a mirror. <laughs> um, and then we were like so tired. We had just ate. We were binge watching the perfect match. And he fell asleep. And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, freak. I have to finish the front portion of my hair. But I wanted to do it on camera to show you guys. So, I didn't finish it because I got tired and I didn't want to film it while I was tired because I already knew how it was going to be. And if you're going to do something, you're going to do it right, baby. So, I went to bed. Got up this morning extremely tired. Well, he made me breakfast. And I look at my hair and I'm like, oh my God, I need to do something. So, so I'm gonna sit here on the sofa. I'm gonna film it right here. And that's what I did. And look how that came out. Nice and sturdy. No, it did not. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. When y'all buy these, buy them from Sally's, not a, a regular beauty supply store, because they do this. Use a different one. I gotta hurry up. This My baby is sleeping. And my dog is sleeping. So. And we're getting done. And those two are sleeping. I get a lot done when they're asleep. Baby, you're a mom. Yeah, we know. So, I just added a little more foam to wrap the end. Because remember, it's not wet hair. They did a job. Ooh, baby. Remember, get them from Sally's. The ones from Sally's last. The ones from Sally's are sturdy. These are from Sally's. I remember I bought a whole bunch of 
in all different sizes of perm rods. I got the white ones. I got the real, real skinny ones, like the gray ones. And I got the green ones like I showed you guys earlier. I had a bunch of these. It all depends on the size curl you're going for. And the tighter the curl, well, the smaller the rod, the tighter the curl. So, the bigger the rod, the bigger the curl. I like this size because it'll give me a good week. These my hair is extremely thick, so I have to put more in my hair, which means it takes longer for me to do this style. If I wasn't tired last night, and if I sat there and did this entire style, while I was watching TV, so I was occupied, I wasn't standing up, I was nice, I was comfortable, it literally would have took me probably like 30, 30 minutes to do my, no, I'm lying, 45 minutes to an hour to do my entire head so yeah this size works for me I just have to buy more because I thought I had enough clearly I thought I had enough well I almost had enough so I think I did some of some um, pieces in the top smaller because my hair is extremely thick. My hair is extremely thick all over, but in the top here, it usually doesn't, like, the it, it'll still be kind of damp. So I tried to do smaller pieces, and I think that's where I underestimated how many perm rods I had. So, yeah. These are really cute when you want to do a style that's not going to last long. Um, so if I was doing a style that I wanted to last two, three days tops, I would use these. And um, if you guys are interested in seeing like different styles with the different size perm rods, comment below. Um, actually, let's do this. We have green, which is the biggest one. The next size is orange. The next size is peach. The next size is pink. The next size is white. I found another orange. If I just would have kept digging. So I mean, I need to use the peach one. Dang, I could have used the peach one right here. I ain't taking it out. It's in there. It ain't coming out. Let me tell you how the gray ones so you have to really see. I'm gonna try to really see how small the gray ones are. This is how small the gray ones are. So, we have these sizes. These are all the size per mods. So you pick which ones 
you would like to see a tutorial with. And what I'll do is do a full head with that size perm rod, okay? And we'll do a step-by-step -step showing you, because of course, parting is different. You have to do things a little different. So, um, yeah. And honestly, doing it on stretched hair is a lot easier than doing it on wet hair. Like, this is, my, this is gonna be my first time doing it on stretched hair, but I usually do it on wet hair and it's a lot quicker. It's a lot manageable. Um, so if you've never done it before and you're doing this for the first time, I keep looking over here, but I keep looking over here. I know, I know. <laughs> because I'm looking at myself. Um, but the camera's here, so I look here. Um, yeah, if you are interested in trying to perform your own um, perm rod set, do it, okay? If you go to the hairstylist and you get it done, it's going to run you from 120 to about 200 $300, depending on how long and how thick your hair is, okay? If I was to go to the salon and get it done, it's going to she's gonna charge me almost two hundred dollars right so <laughs> i could do it at home and i didn't do anything this weekend i just chilled at home you know was cleaning up things like that so me having port a part of my hair done wasn't a big deal if you guys are interested in trying to learn how to do your own perm rod set I love doing my natural hair. It gives me a different look. Of course, it gives me a break from wearing my wigs, which I usually wear. Um, I only wear my hair straight to just give my hair a little break. Usually, if I'm wearing my hair straight, it's to do a trim. I don't wear my hair straight. <laughs> but I've worn my hair straight uh, for the past three weeks and the last month I did it for a good two weeks so 2023 you've seen a lot of me wearing my hair straight hmm. but yeah so if you're interested just comment green orange peach pink white or gray whichever one you want to see me do a tutorial on my full head tutorial out of these uh six perm rods let me know if you want to see a combination like the white and the gray put white and gray if you want to see a combination of the pink uh the peach and the orange do that or if you want to see a combination of the orange and the green comment what tutorial you would love to see i'm down to do it come on y'all challenge me put it in the comment section below let's do this give me something to do okay i feel like my um i do the same things with my hair um i will show you different styles because you don't only have to wear it in a fro or you know you there's different styles you can do a pineapple i'll show you what a pineapple is that's one of my favorites um the frohawk the frohawk people always think the frohawk is supposed to be done one way nah not me mm -mm. when i rock a frohawk with these trust me if you do a frohawk with your perm rods you will get so many freaking compliments it will blow your mind okay so let me know which one you like to see me do a tutorial with and what kind of styles throw some styles out there oh i want to see you do half up half down um a bang in your face um just a regular fro uh a pineapple and then i'll show you like if you're not familiar with pineapple if you google it it's a pineapple hairstyle on natural girls i always use a scarf um whatever whatever you curly girls want to see let me know send it and i'll do it just make sure you comment down below and your girl got you okay now let's finish this <laughs> so now that i found my extra um 
orange. I'm going to do an orange here and an orange here. I should have put that peach here. Now, now you might see me rolling and pulling it. It's making it tight and smooth. Boom. Whole head done. Let me show you guys. And there you have it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sit under the dryer for 45 minutes. I hate sitting under the dryer, but let's see if I can make it 45 minutes. But I have to make sure my hair is dry. So I'm gonna try my best to sit under the dryer for 45 minutes. Once I, once my hair is completely dry, I'll come back and we'll take out our product and see the outcome. I am so excited. Going from doing this set on wet hair and I've been doing my hair for over 10 years and seeing like my hair my, my, my own hair for over 10 years and doing this on wet hair and finally saying hmm I got a girl do this on dry hair and save you time and get that big 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 blowout curly feel so that's what I'm going for I'm praying my curls come out defined trial and error I'll see you guys once my hair dries and it's time for takedown. Okay, so I'm back. I'm actually in a rush because I'm letting me. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little down. I started taking some off in the back because I'll have to film it. But yes, um, I am going to take my rollers down, put some oil on my fingertips. I did this before in my twist out video when I put the oil on my fingertips and I just pull them through. <sighs> I'm such a rush. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing some nails so you can see how they're coming out. Okay. 
this is my first time. We're doing a rod set on the bottom out here. It still came out like a girl. Okay, so this is the last one. Oh my God. I'm gonna take some oil. I'm gonna pull these bad boys apart like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Put oil on my fingertips. I'm gonna do a few so y'all can see. Okay, so I'm back. I fluffed my hair some. I've been using a wide tooth comb just to lift it at the root. As you can see, I let go in between curls. Lift, lift, just to give it height. Or take my fingers and pull. The root. I don't want to mess up my curls. So I'm pulling with my fingers. My curls are getting nice and fluffy. You don't want to pull on them too much because then you get curls that look like this and curls that look like that. But I'll show you how to tuck those away in a minute. You just look. Like, <laughs> so here. Up, up, up. 
because I just want the volume. I want big hair. It's all about big hair. Pull this down. It's all about having big hair. So you would just continue to do this until you get your desired look. Try not to pull on it too much because that's how it make your ends. Frizzy. Let me see a little bit of frizzy here, but that's okay. Said, I just tuck them in there. You got a lot of curls in here, so when you have a lot of curls, you can hide a couple of frizzy pieces. Have a sheen <clears throat> that I'm gonna spray on my hands. It's a light oil. Yeah, my hair is fluffed. It is nice and big. Let's see if you guys can get into this hair. These curls, like I said, you just take it and you just hide it in some curls. Like this, hide it in some curls. Nobody will never know. But voila, these, well, this is the finished results of my flexi rod set, not flexi rod set, my perm rod set on blown out hair. I will be doing all of my perm rod sets on blown out hair from now on. It was easier, it was faster, the drying time didn't take days. Um, I can do this in the morning and if I'm going out that night, my hair would be ready to go. So I will be doing this. I will keep you guys on, um, well, I'll definitely be doing this more often. Um, I will keep you guys posted on how long it does so, last. This is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love big hair. You know what they say, the bigger the hair, the closer the rod. Yes. So if you guys love this look, please comment below saying yes. And, um, Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, bye.